butt in a fresh pallet <laughs> Looking at them trees, I'm going to have to have you to help hold it. Well, I mean, it's not going to take. Not much rope because it'll just fit between there. Or, well, is it too low? I can play, I can raise it up. Okay. Watch where you're stepping. Minnie already wants to know what that is. I figure eight. Well. Now, you can't come undone. Not one of them's not very big around, is it? Okay guys, what we got, this is our cattle rub. This is a bovine cattle rub. Uh, we noticed we got a few horse flies starting back on the cows again. I've had this thing for months in the barn out there. I just haven't had a chance to put it up yet. And we're gonna go ahead and mix up some, uh, I'm gonna put some regular cooking oil all over it. Uh, I don't like using chemicals on my animals uh, any more than I absolutely have to. So we're gonna just use cooking oil all over it to kind of get it kind of saturated a little bit first. And then we're gonna come back with a mixture of different essential oils mixed in with a little apple cider vinegar and some more oil and kind of brush it on with a paintbrush to kind of make it like a fly repellent for these animals and see how it works. I mean, it's gonna be experimental. We're gonna be tying this between two trees over here where they frequent a whole lot. Uh, they're always over there underneath those trees, so hopefully once we get this put up, they'll just stay there and, and rub on it all the time. We're going to mainly work out in the middle parts first. As the cows walk around under it, their body oil was going to get on it too. Ideally, it would be to dip this thing down in a big bucket of oil, but I don't have that right now. Guys, we've got our apple cider vinegar here, one cup. We've got uh, tea tree oil, lavender, peppermint, and lemongrass in here. And we're going to finish filling the rest of this up with oil. And we just kind of shake it around a little bit. You can smell all of it. It's pretty strong. On the essential oils that we put in it, we put 10 drops of each essential oil in it. And we're not going to put it on it until we actually get this out there and get it hung up because we don't want to get it on us. You know, I mean, um, no it won't hurt us, but I don't want to smell like that. So I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of this oil on that right yonder to make sure I get a good coating of oil in it. Then we're going to take this out here and take a brush and dip down in it. And we're going to brush this all over it once we get it home. The other one I had over the other house, I had chains on it. Tying this one enough, you're hoping they don't cause it to come untied? Yeah, that's what I'm hoping. All right. 
We already got a tree limb here. It's got to come down. Yeah. Kind of hard to hold it in. Can you go up or is it high enough? Uh, they're Dexter, so you let go of it. Many. Come go through. You're on the wrong side. That's going to be about right. Because her back's. It's going to be about it. Minnie's already ready to check it out. You gotta come around or else Danny's gotta cut your tree out of the way. I'm trying to figure is that about the right height? I don't want to go trying to go over it. Raise that other side up. Minnie's gonna be curious. She's gonna lick it all off. When we put that other stuff she won't. It's just oil right now. Yeah, it's just oil right now. We'll have to tighten this up a little bit more here. Go and tie your shoes. She's watching them horns. She's taking horns and gouging. She's leaking on your shoes. Shoe shine. <laughs> okay. Now, the little ones it might. The little ones, huh? They're but, back. Yeah. He, Gonna do exactly what you didn't want her to do. I know they will. That is, that's not for your head, it's for your back. There you go. You're getting a wild hairdo. Daisy's walking pretty wop-sided right now. I have a yeah. feeling she may have a baby in the next couple of days. Yep, she's gone. She ain't far off. No. <coughs> she still want to know where her baby is. See what Dexter does, he uses that one as a rubbing post. <laughs> he loves playing with that. Look at him.
Daisy still can't figure out her baby. No, Minnie. No. Should be absorbing pretty well. Dolly wants to know what you're doing now. What you think, Dolly? Gonna walk right by it. No bag full. Yeah, she's hurting. She wants that bag emptied out. She's licking the oil off of Nanny. And he had it all over her head. Yeah. That's a good boy. Him is a good boy, but boy. <coughs> good boy. Rubbing on everything but your rub. He ain't figured it out yet. Well, guys, today's the day we separated Coco away from Daisy, and she's her bag's all swelled up real big. She's wanting some relief, and she's used to him draining her out every day. And she just keeps hollering and hollering, and we've just put the rug. We just, we just put the rub up put some uh, essential oils on it and all and kind of help a little bit with fly control. As you can see back looking at Dolly from the back end yonder, Dolly's not due till December but she's already huge. She's, she's big for a Dexter now. And then they, uh, Dixie down yonder is due to drop any day now. She's more toward about the 15th to the 20th sometime in of September. But I'm not sure exactly which day it is that she's going to drop. She's just real close. You want that boy, huh? Are you want that boy, girl? Come on, Candy. Come on, Candy. Get up here under the rug, baby. Get them flies off of you. Just in the video, so. Well, guys, we thought maybe they'd walk under the rug while we was here, but it looks like they're going to hold off. Now, many went under it to start with, but the other ones, all they're interested in doing is eating and standing around making noise. So <laughs> they're doing what cows do best. And if we get a shot of them going underneath it at some point, we'll throw it in a video before we get it made. But if not, we'll see you in the next video. So thank you guys from Deep South Homestead.